I believe that this was arranged in heaven. This girl's prayers and heartache was heard in heaven. And the only one of blessed memory that could that lived on this earth, that cared about a blind girl living 15,000 miles away was a man by the name of Rabbi Schneerson. May his memory be blessed. After that, I became a rabbi. And just thank to this blind girl. You know what the rabbi said to me? He said to me that is, she had her prayer answered from heaven. This is a, a sign from heaven to you too. That if you can make people who are blind physically or spiritually blind and you make them, make them see, then that is your <laughs> destiny in life. And therefore, give up all your work and devote yourself to make blind people see. <laughs> Highlight of the Lubavitch. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, the first time I was in Hobart, you got a beautiful story, Professor Asad? 19, 19, I think 1956, the first time I went to Hobart. We used to send delegations every now and then to the small community. So I looked around there mm -hmm. and I found old minutes. And I found a book with minutes and it was written there that 30 odd convicts, Jewish convicts, had met in a home to decide what they should do, whether to build a synagogue or build a mikveh or build a school. And the resolution was that, that, that most of them had remembered the opinion that the mikveh had first priority. So they all decided that the mikveh has to be built. And as they didn't know, there was no authority there that no. So they sent, it was passed a resolution, they should send out a letter to all the Jewish convicts that are in Tasmania, the only convicts there, that each one should send what they know about a mikveh. And then they'll pull the information and they'll build, they'll build a mikveh. Apparently it never came about. <laughs> Either they didn't have the information, but it never came about. Because the state government gave them a piece of ground, but to build a synagogue. And that is where the synagogue is built today. And the president of that synagogue for many years was a, parent, uh, a person who had married out, Mr. Epstein. He had a non-Jewish wife, but he was the one who was in charge of the synagogue. And if you wanted to come and pray there, you had to go to him. He, he was in my home, he was a, a nice chap. And uh, I've been a number of times, what's it called, the Apple Isle? I never had any apples, but uh, it's a wonderful place. That's where, that's where I met Professor Hasoka. That's what the famous story about a great professor who was also on the verge of converting with his wife to Christianity. And today she's 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 dead, but eventually they became such barley chuba. He became a barucha. He walked around with a beard that long, and she wore a shaitel and was very 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 religious. When I first met them, and it just shows you, I held a lecture there. To the lecture, there came about forty people. It was a huge crowd to come. And in the lecture, I mentioned the fact that a Jew, once a Jew, is always a Jew. A Jew cannot convert, can't change your religion. All that happens is when they put a bit of water in him, a bit of mud, it becomes a bit muddy. But he can never, once a Jew, always a Jew, even as a sinner. And they heard, they were in the lecture, and they heard. So they came to ask me afterwards, is it really true? But even if a person converts Christianity remains a Jew, I said, yes, once you're Jew, always a Jew, you can't convert, give up your religion. And that turned their life. At that particular time, they turned their life. And I wrote, I remember, I wrote to the Rebbe about that couple. 
So he said to me, he said to me, I should every Friday send them two kosher chickens from Melbourne. <laughs> they didn't have a kosher home at all. <laughs> but I should send them. And that one thing brought to another. Eventually they came to live in Melbourne. Then they went to Sydney. They went to all around the world. He's a famous <coughs> professor of mathematics. A world-renowned professor of mathematics. And... Uh, oh, it's and among these, huh? Yes, yeah, it's children of Uncle Sam. Just shows you from a, a little simple thing, a little simple word. Eh? Once a Jew, always a Jew. You hear, young man? Yeah, yeah you agree with me? Good on your son. <laughs>